Welcome to The Update. I'm Michelle Stevenson. Well, despite posting a new daily record of COVID cases, West Australia is reopening its borders. From March 3, people will be able to head west, quarantine-free, but only if they're triple vaccinated. 194 local infections were recorded overnight. WA Premier Mark McGowan says the time has come for that hard border to come down. Eventually, there comes a point where the border is ineffective when you get to high case numbers within the state. Scott Morrison has slammed China for not denouncing Russia's actions as tensions with Ukraine reach boiling point. The US Secretary of State says Russia is taking steps down the path of war with suggestions an attack could take place within days. The Prime Minister says China claims it's playing a positive role in global peace. We denounce it. The United States denounce it. Peace-loving, free nations all around the world are denouncing it. Those who do not denounce the violence that Russia is threatening Ukraine with, well, that leaves me very concerned. It's as Anthony Albanese brushes aside suggestions a Labor government would put our national security at risk. Tensions have reached boiling point between the two major parties over who is best suited to protect Australia's interests. But the Labor leader says his record is clear. Prosecutors are still considering whether to pursue the sexual assault case against former rugby league international Jared Hayne. Hayne has been tried twice and won the right to have his matter heard again after appealing the second trial where he was convicted. Now almost 152,000 people rolled up their sleeves for a COVID jab yesterday. 94.2% of Aussies are now fully vaccinated. The ACCC has received more than 5,000 complaints about price gouging with the sale of rapid tests. And a New York judge has ruled that Donald Trump's two eldest children must testify in the fraud probe into their father. Ivanka and Donald Jr. will be interviewed in the next 21 days. To sport now, and Novak Djokovic apparently isn't put off returning to Australia. That's despite having his visa cancelled twice last month. The unvaccinated world number one remains determined to win another Australian Open in the future. In your entertainment news, and Kanye, well, he has hit out at Pete Davidson again. The rapper digging up an old SNL skit where the comedian makes fun of Ye and his mental health struggles. Now, I don't know if you saw it, but Nicole Kidman is being hit by Photoshop accusations. That's after she posed for the latest Vanity Fair cover. The 54-year-old Aussie star flaunting a pretty fit body in a barely there outfit. And Olivia Rodrigo is single again. The 18-year-old parting ways with her music producer boyfriend after dating less than a year. That's the latest from the Nova Podcast News team. We'll see you tomorrow morning for another episode of The Update. I'm Michelle Stevenson.